Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my playthrough of Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Now, we have a few quests to turn in. I've got to find out about this Merrick fellow. But for now, let's stop at the Elf Song Inn and turn in that, uh, that telescope that I stole. Mm. It's on the way, anyway. Elf Song Inn was uh, in this district, I think. So let's go do it. Try to keep up. All right, we're at the Elf Song Tavern, and uh, there is Brevik. Let's go ahead and talk to him. is not gold, but all that gold most certainly glitters. Are you mad? Have you any idea the trouble you've caused? I told you not to hurt anyone. It's already all over the city, and the guard are looking for blood. They are. It'll be years before I could display that tell a thing in Am. Let alone here. Keep it. Our deal is off. Hold on just a moment there. I went through quite the bother getting this thing, and you are going to pay for it. Fine, whatever. Here is your money, here is your magic, there is the door. I never saw you, I never met you, and I've never even seen anyone that looks like you. Alright, I guess because I killed that guard, I pissed him off. Oh, he gave me... Lothander's... Oh, that's... No, that's something I already had. Lothander's Potion of Antidote is uh, one of the... One of the antidote potions I need to cure myself. I need to sort my inventory out, and I need to sell some shit. So I guess he gave me a wand or something? I don't know. Let me, uh, let me, uh, identify this shit. I think I may have identified some of this in a past episode and then forgot to save. Alright, way too much shit here to even begin to identify everything with spells. But, uh, let's cruise in and see if anything gets automatically ID'd. There we go, a magic dagger plus one. Automatically identified. See, if your lore is high enough, you can actually identify things just by looking at them. And lore is based on intelligence and wisdom and your level, so... Bards also get a bonus, so if you want everything automatically identified, you can get a bard. Alright, let's start with heavy crossbow. Oh, fuck, I don't have, any sp I don't have anything ready. I need to actually rest. Alright. Well, tell you what, since I need... Let me go do some more turn-ins, and then I'll do the identifications. Fucking A. Alright, let's, uh, let's go uh, start looking around town. We've still got these northern sections to go to, so let's just... In fact, let's just go there and uh, start explorations there this, no this round. In speaking to the likes of you. Uh, somebody's approaching. Tartus. Oh, how I wish this horrid iron crisis would end. I bought a new mirror the other day, and I swear the frame shattered before the glass. Honestly, I don't know how we nobles are supposed to keep ourselves alive in this environment. Breaking a mirror, that's seven years bad luck, plus ten for the metal. An extra ten for metal? Why, this entire region will be cursed for generations. Alright. I will listen for now. Well, let's uh, do a sweep of this area looking for the uh the mermaid. Well, there's a bunch of containers here I can loot too. I had nothing in them. God damn. Oh well. I've got this this tavern called the Three Old Kegs, which I only know because I looked at the map. And then what's this? It's another wizard's house, right? A tower of some sort. Let's check our map. Ramazith's house, which I heard of uh, from somebody. I can't remember who, but uh, I can't remember what they said either. Only that, uh, they said, oh, there was the oozes in the ye old inn. All right. Well, that sounds like a place I should go. Wow, that is a tall tower. I wonder if he's uh, making up for something. And there's some sort of big-ass keep that I'm walking behind. Hmm. wonder if that's the Duke's place. Aren't there multiple dukes in Baldur's Gate? The Grand Dukes, so to speak. Something on your mind? Oops, I'm being approached, and everybody's back here. God damn it. Quick, everybody catch up to the dwarf. Something Especially Dorn. Come on, Dorn. Dorn, you go up front. No, not you. Dorn. There we go. 
Hey, you look like sewer running types if I ever I saw any. Watch your mouth before I bust it on your pearly whites, buddy. Hey, no offense, folks. Sewers are just the urban man's dungeon, you get it? And you folks don't look like you're here on no fancy dip and dancy shopping trip. Who do you think you're calling fancy dancy? I didn't call no one fancy dancy, man. It's just the way I talk. I mean, you guys are so cool. You swish and you walk, man. Oh, no. I didn't call you. No, er, forget about it, please. I didn't mean no harm by it. Oh, hell. I got to get me one of them dictionaries and learn me some common, man. <laughs> oh, man. I hope he didn't have a quest or anything. Well, maybe he had a quest. Anyway. Try to keep up. I made him second guess every word he said until he ran off. That's awesome. Somebody named Petrine. Even bloodier than you hoped. Hi, I am Petrine, and my folks aren't around no more, and I ran away from my Uncle Baron because he's real mean. My cat's really an angel, though, and she protects me when bad things happen. Or at least she did. I can't find her now, though. I think she went back to my uncle's to get her ring. There's this ring that she loves to play with, but when I ran away, I had to leave it at my nasty uncle's. If you could get me the ring, I'm sure Angel would come back. Could you do it, oh please? Sure, I guess. I will it involves breaking into now. a rich man's house. Yeah. So his uncle's, what, Baron? Well, I'm going to be doing a sweep of this city, so I may as well, you know, pick whatever I can. I think somebody else is approaching. Yep. Hey there, pal. If you're trying to get inside the palace, you're out of luck. Common folks aren't allowed in there. Grand Dukes don't let no one in unless it's some sort of special event going on. Alright, so that is the Grand Dukes Palace up here. Yep, the Ducal Palace. And there's the entrance. It occupies the majority of this area. And what's this? Oh! There's that shrine that I saw in the area south of here, and it is a shrine of Agma, and there's no priest there, so I have no idea why it's there. Maybe they split it on the map and then realized that they couldn't put anybody in it. Oh, you can go down these back alleys. Nice. Not that there's anything in here. Man, there are so many quests in Baldur's Gate. What have I got? The one where the assassins are trying to kill me. The one where i got to find that kid's ring. The uh, telescope one I just turned in. You know, the ones I've already turned in. Um, the sewer, which I need to look at. What the, what the hell is this? Black Dragon Gate. It doesn't actually go anywhere, does it? Here's the edge of the map. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, the sewers. Um, man, we just keep coming across more and more quests. Well, I guess it is a major city, that's to be expected. And we've got what looks like some sort of cathedral or temple here. Once again, I'm going to check every barrel along the way. What is this? This is... Helm Temple. So this is the second Temple of Helm I've come across in this playthrough. Is there anything to be had in here? Ah! Before be we go in, Speak. let's make sure we've uh, explored the entire area. I think that I've just got a little bit up here to explore. Yep, so this entire area is open. What do we have? We have the Ducal Palace, which we can't enter yet. We have this Temple of Helm, which I'm going to look into, and then we've got this Wizard's Tower. Uh, let's look at the temple first, because I suspect there's, like, nothing in there. All right, inside the temple, I'm going to go ahead and the talk to the uh, Watch Knight, or whatever he is, Priest of Helm. Sorry, the thought of being watched by some kind of ceaseless eye disturbs me immensely. I'll find my own way out. Didn't I already say that to one of them? I'd like to see what, what services you have to provide. Okay. Standard priest shit. Alright. Oh, we don't need any of that. Let's go. So I guess it's off to Ramazath's tower. Find out how, why he released all those oozes onto uh, that inn. Locked, but that's what? okay. Cause I got a thief. Of course. 
All right, lockpick succeeded. Let's head on in. I will listen. Try to keep up. Good eve on you and yours, my Ramazif. Might I have your ear a moment? You, a foolish turn to have broken into my home. Ah, I recognize you. I've heard of your doings regarding Ragefast and that precious nymph of his. I had many plans for that creature, and to think I was even going to ask for your assistance. Regardless, you shall pay. Come get me at the top, if you dare. So I guess him and Ragefast had some sort of disagreement. He's gone. Well, let's head on up. Even bloodier than you hoped. We got mustard jellies. Which is basically what he summoned on that inn. really no one else you can buy? Your worthless lives end here. Oh, come on. She can get on this one. Speak and be gone. This will and then this one. Oh, we'll level up on Dorn. Nice. Let me get that real quick, because that's going to give him a bonus to hit. Level up. No proficiency slots. Uh, taco bonus, though. Some save bonuses. How many hit points did he get? Two. Yeah, he's getting shit for hit points. Yeah, Dorn has like almost half of the hit points of Kagan. That's funny. Fuck, my thief has more hit points than Dorn. That's hilarious. Alright, let's head back further up. And what do we got here? We got gas. This will not be a quick death. And they paralyzed someone already, didn't they? Yeah, they did, kind of. Again you disturb my actions, are yours. Oh no, he's not paralyzed. All right, we need to attack these guys and yet get bail off out. But not because you told. Oh, he's freaking. That's Edwin, and he's paralyzed now. He's like really paralyzed. We may lose him. We need to switch to ranged because everybody's kind of cluster fucked up there. Yes. Okay. Everybody on ranged. Let's do this. And you know what? I'm gonna try to turn undead with uh, with uh, with Vicona. Why? Because oh fuck! Edwin's down. God damn it! Yeah, we're gonna lose our wizards because everybody's kind of crammed in here. Turn undead should have been so much more, so much better, but it's not. It didn't take an eff it didn't take effect until way too late. Where the hell are you going, Dorn? I'm gonna send Dorn one way and Kagan another. Let these guys deal with it. Come on. See, this is how it should have gone from the very beginning. But it didn't. Damn. So I lost Edwin. Ah, my first real death in Baldur's Gate City. Except for, you know, the, that total wipe to guards. But I don't count that one. So I guess uh, let's loot up. And I'm in no hurry, so I can actually leave and get everybody raised. And then uh, worry about coming back later. Now, Helm sees all. Know that and be so judged. everybody is healed, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I think Bailoth needs a cure disease. Is it dispel magic? I don't have a cure disease. Oh well. What is that? That plus sign? Yeah, he's diseased. I need a cure disease on him. I don't have one memorized. He can wait. It's just a disease. Be direct. It Let's head back to Ramzath's house. Ramazith. Try to keep up. All right, first level cleared. Second level cleared. Third level also cleared. 
go back up, up one more, up one more. It shall it. be even bloodier than you hope. All right, what do we got in here? We got hobgoblins. Hobgoblin elites, and they're all over the place. So in order to not die, I've got to do this carefully. To keep up. I'm going to send no, Doran one way. I'm going to send send Kagan the other. I'm going to cast a hold person on these two. Over Make it here. Quick. I'm going to basically Isn't sling really stone at this. No one else you can bother? We'll go ahead and try to use, I guess, Stinking Cloud over here. You are so irritating. And then we will try to take these guys out with um, Glitter Dust over here. All right, hopefully this will keep me keep me from getting owned. And of course, for some reason, Kagan is not moving. Glitter dust went off. Stinking cloud went off. Poof. Oh, fuck. Everybody's in the stinking cloud. Okay. I will listen. Well, who isn't dead? Or who isn't who isn't unconscious? Go ahead and take these guys out one by one. Fortunately, that was actually pretty good. Crowd control worked out that time. It shall be even bloodier than you hoped. Night Let's move everybody out of the stinking cloud. Prevail. Switch Peter everybody ranged. to range. Go pester someone else. All of the? Yes. Touch someone else. You feel it now? And um, Speak and basically gone. range these guys down. And then this. So my main I character is poisoned. I am born of a noble uh, let's go ahead and cure his poison. And so is Edwin, for that matter. So let's go one more on Edwin this time. Fortunately, that spell doesn't take much to cast. Alright. I will listen. Mm. Well, that was quick. But yeah, you really do have to do that, because they, if you just let them go, they can easily stack poison on everybody. When you're surrounded like that. So yeah, I'm getting to think that Glitter Dust is a little OP. Um, <laughs> let's head up to the next level. And what do we got here? We got, uh... Hubble Commandos. Oh shit, this could be just as bad. We're gonna do the Glitter Dust thing again. Glitter dust over here. Hmm? Not what stinking cloud this time, but um, I guess something. Um, oh no, we'll just go ahead and attack one of these guys. Yes. And attack. Shar is a goddess of conviction and, attack. and purpose. And, and Dorn and now. him will go I after will this listen. one. For now. And Dorn will actually charge because he he can move. This fast. will not be a quick death. Okay, so we've got a couple people already hit. Okay. Uh, those guys are glitter dusted. Let's get on this last guy. Before he kills Bailoff. Alright, now these guys. One down. I'm gonna work out some anger on you. That one down. And then the final one down. So what we need to do is we need to rest pretty soon, but um, I'm kind of at on a time limit, so we'll just try to do what we can. I'll go where you wish. Do I have any heals left? I should have plenty of heals left. Well, I got three pure lights. We'll top bail off up a little bit. And then one more. Yeah, is it just me or are these floors getting smaller as we go on? Speak and be gone. Mm. Alright, here we go. Ramaz Ramazith. You pugs are starting to piss me off. Um, we will go ahead and poison our weapon with RPG crawling. Is there really? And then we will cast the requisite. Um, 
I got no magic missile here, but I've got uh, Melf's acid arrow on here. You are so and then Edwin should still have some chromatic orbs. There we go. All right. What? Weapons poison on RPG crawl. Let's get this him into position. Boom! Man. Come on, tell me, tell me that I managed to to uh, disrupt him. Yeah, he is spell casting failure. Awesome. Boom. I will listen. Oh. Try to keep up. Well, you don't fuck with me. All right, he's got plenty of magic items. And then we can check out his area here. A bunch of history books so far. Yep, nothing I need. Oh wait, there's a magic book here. Awesome. I can't loot. Yes, I can. There we go. So I got a magic book from this guy. Very nice indeed. And what's 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 in this? As lot. Make it quick. Hopefully there'll be more treasure in there. Yes, there is. A magic wand, some gold, some scrolls, and a potion. Very nice haul. And be gone. Try ah, we've got... Once we can rest again, we're basically going to have to sit there and spend like two or three days up. identifying shit. Try to keep up. Jacques? I will listen. Try to keep up. Try to keep up. Hmm. So let's head off of the east side of the map to see if we can't get into the rest of the northeast side of the uh, city. Alright, heading there. And it puts us right outside of the Blushing Mermaid, which is exactly where we need to go. I'm going to take a quick walk around the area first and see if I can't get more information and or more places to check out first. We've got somebody named Braille Barra, which we will look at very shortly. Ah, a ring. Give me a sec, i got to rearrange my inventory again. All right, let's talk to wait, him. His name. Travelers, could you wait a moment so that I may so I may talk with you? I am Brielbara, a mage of minor power. I've heard that a group fitting your description were hiring themselves out as mercenaries. Is that true? No, we're not mercenaries. We just carry weapons and kill things for the joy of the experience. I apologize for bothering you. I most desperately needed the help of a strong band of warriors. I'll have to keep searching. Wait, we can help you out. What do you need us for? I wish to hire you. I pay, I'll pay. i pay you 200 golds. Not much for heroic adventures, but all that I have. An evil mage has laid a curse upon my only child, Namara. She is slowly wasting away and, without help, she'll die. The mage who did this is named Yago, and I am sure that he possesses the remedy to the curse. Would you track him down for me? Um, of course. He's been staying at a, a place called the Low Lantern, which I know it's, it's at the docks. It's the playground for the wicked and depraved, a ship where prostitutes ply their trade. All I want you to do is find him and take his spell book. I have enough magical skill to reverse the curse if I, knew, if I had the formula for his spell. When you're finished, come meet me at the Splurging Sturgeon Inn. I'll be there for the next few days. Alright, that's not bad. And you know what? I do not mind that because um, I don't mind killing mages because they're basically big bags of loot at this point because I know how to kill them like within a round or two. Unless they have time to pre-buff, then, then it takes longer. But uh, Generally nothing that a bunch of uh, magic swords can't break through. Oh nice, gold. Oh yeah, there's that annoying wall that was in the way all that time. Well, it looks like I found the Splurging Sturgeon. Yuck. That name. This makes me feel kind of nasty saying it. Oh, 
Okay. What scroll is that? Rend. Which you can use to great effect on a high charisma character to just get ridiculous rewards from some of these quests. But it, you have to remember to use it, and I never remember to use it. Like, if I had, like, a high-level bard with, like, 19 charisma natural and then used uh, friends to bump it up to an, in, into the mid-20s, that's, like, godlike charisma, so... If I... Sure. Okay, we've got a shrine till mater. Okay. The broken god. He's basically the, uh... The Christianity uh, analog for this setting. And some gold in a barrel just north of that. And just west of that, some more gold. Alright, so this entire area is now explored. We've got a Ilmatra Shrine, the Blushing Mermaid, and the Splurging Sturgeon. Let's head into the Blushing Mermaid first. Alright, I'm here. Let's head on in. Alright. There's an ogre here. Herm, I be Lars. You be RPG Crawler. Don't try, deny it. You should not have come to Baldur's Gate. You've been given many warnings before, but you ignore them. Now you must pay. Sorry, but Lars must kill. I'm really starting to get tired of threats. Everywhere I go, I'm threatened. Well, you big lug, you're just going to end up like all the rest of them. Lars will crush you now. Crush you to paste. <laughs> I've killed like about a zillion ogres. Ow! He hit pretty fucking hard. Let's drain life on him. He's injured. I don't and wanna talk. seriously, I need to get the dwarf up there to tank rather than the dwarf. Yeah, the door needs to step back. Door needs to run. Okay. See, Kagan can do a decent job on this. Because Kagan's got that dwarf bonus. He also needs his shield up. Holy crap, this guy actually can hit hard. That's not what I'm looking for. Where's Kagan? Okay, here's Kagan. Pop that magic shield up. Let's take this thing out. Damn, Kagan's getting his ass kicked. Okay. So what's he going for now? Uh, Viconian? Ow! Move! This guy hits like a freaking train. Oh, hell no. Okay, l l I need to rearrange my shit back to range. Basically, I need to use bear tactics on this guy. Holy crap. I did not expect this ogre to hit this hard, and I know that sounds really strange to say. Actually, why am I not using spells on this guy? Let's move everybody in here back. Oh, everybody! Okay, thank you. Jesus Christ. Please tell me you had something to make that worthwhile. Lots of gold. Oh, I didn't need that, but... Got magic gauntlets and a bunch of gems and jewelry. You know what? I am going to have to rest just to get everybody healed up. So, uh. I will let's find the innkeeper and rest up, and then we will pursue Marek. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. It's going to require two rests of eight hours. Uh, first one's down. Let's identify those gauntlets that he just dropped, actually. Ah, i got to move them over to Bailoth. Gauntlets of the second sword arm. That's plus one Thacko. 
I'll give them to Edwin just because. Then this book. What's this book? Tome of Clear Thought raises intelligence by one point permanently. And we are going to do that with Edwin. What else do we need? What a bunch of shit. Let's take a look at this crossbow. Because we have people that actually use crossbows. The guide plus two. It's a crossbow plus two, basically. Alright, we can go ahead and load that up on uh, Dorn, basically. Alright, what else do we need? We've got these amulets. The amplifier can memorize one extra second level wizard spell. Nice. So, um... Edwin's already got an amulet. I have no idea if it works on, um... No idea if it works on wizards. Or on, on sorcerers. And this other one is the protector plus one. is a plus one... Uh, plus one protection amulet. I don't think anybody can use it, can they? Nope. See this ring? The guard's ring plus two. It's a plus two protection ring. So let's see who is using like the ring of princes. I know at least somebody's using the ring of princes. There you go. I'll just replace his ring with the guard. Alright, these bracers. Pretty sure I don't need them. Race of Defense AC7, don't need them. And I'm out of spells. Alright, let's go ahead and get Edwin his intelligence buff up. Alright. If I must. And then we'll rest again. Hey friend. Good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. That let me heal some people, and it gives me another round of identif identification. Okay, leather armor plus one. Don't really need it. Protection from undead, not bad. Knave's robe, don't need it. This should be a wand of lightning, right? Oh, paralyzation, not bad. This one's a wand of lightning. Yep. Um, spear, which I'm not going to use, but I may as well identify it. Plus one. Ah, uh, it should be a plus one, right? Morning star plus one, yeah. Um, and I'm out again. I need to rest one more time. Except this time, after I rest, I'm not going to immediately ID anything. I'm going to go friend. seek out Merrick. Good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. Okay, so that was actually not a full day. That was that was one full day. That wasn't like multiple days. But then again, I still got shit unidentified, so. Oh, you know what? I never did uh, readjust Edwin's uh, Edwin's memorized spells. Fuck! All right, that's okay. It was nothing but chromatic orbs, anyway, right? Now let's see Baloth. Let's look at his second level spells. It was up to seven. And then uh, up to eight. So yeah, he it does affect uh, it does affect sorcerers. Nice. Let's keep looking for Marek. He's probably upstairs. There's so many barrels and shit to loot down here. I don't know if I can, technically, but, uh... Alright. We'll move everybody around in here. So let's look for Marek. There's Marek. Let me go ahead and adjust everybody's positions right, here. Give me cut. What? Nah. Eh? What do you? All right. What? But is not it because you told me Okay. To. Is there? I'm no no I'm that. probably going to straight up murder this guy. Okay. 
face, switching to his sword. Alright, let's approach with Dorn. So you've come, I assume, to take the antidote. All you're going to accomplish is to hasten your death, but I think that isn't the foremost worry you have at the moment. Okay, enemy sighted. So, here's what we're going to do. Dorn. He's going to switch to his sword. He's going to poison it. Boom. I don't wanna talk. Kagan is going to try to lodge a bolt. Oh, sir. Um, let's see. Uh, she is going to try to hold person on him. I doubt it's going to take, but yes. we're going to try it anyway. RPG crawler is going to poison him. Poison his sword. Touch someone else, you filthy swine. Bailoth is going to pelt him with a, a uh, chromatic orb. I do not and Edwin is also going to pelt him with a bidding. chromatic orb. Okay, RPG crawler is poisoning his weapon. Talents. Running back here and going to try to backstab him. Probably going to fail. Alright. Uh, let's see. I'm not seeing that anybody actually... Disrupt. It, he, he doesn't look like he casts any spells or anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. I not only killed him, I chopped him into chunks. Let's see what he had. He had gold. He had Marek's Potion of Antidote. He had a, another uh, magic dagger. A magic bow. Uh, potion. And another potion. So let's see... Dorn used it. I don't necessarily know if any everybody has to drink it, but uh, Go we're gonna go ahead and try. Else. You're cured of Marek's poison. Ten thousand experience. Is that going to be necessary to drink on everybody? I guess not. Try to keep well then, that was relatively quick. Let's see what's in here while I am here. So I got Marek's poison done, and I've explored much of the northern half of uh, Baldur's Gate. It shall be even There's one more district we haven't even touched yet, and then we've got some shit to do down at the docks. But I believe that most of that can wait till later. Let me go ahead and finish identifying shit, and then I'll be on my way. You look Wait, somebody's mate. talking to me. Please, you must save us from this wretched iron. Why shed tears over a crisis that is far more political than personal? War is political, but does it not maim husbands and kill sons? My husband ro rode the plow behind our horses until the rotten iron hitching broke. The horses bolted and the plow rose from the earth to overturn and catch my man beneath it. He was dragged twenty yards through the rocky soil and is dying now, beyond the cleric's powers. A simple hitching broken still, you ask me why I weep. Okay, well that's kind of sad, actually. Hey, friend. Good to Alright, let's continue to identify to shit. Let's go ahead and, um... Yeah, start, start here. Dagger. Hearts of the Golem plus two, that's the second time I've come across that dagger. It's a plus two dagger, basically. I wonder if I can use that one to satisfy that revenant out there. Protector of the Dryads, plus two. It's a plus two short bow, which nobody's going to use. Wand of Paralyzation. Yep. A mage robe, a knave's robe, another knave's robe. Uh, wand of magic missiles. Yep. Um, protection from electricity. Yep. Uh, either protection from undead or cursed. Ah, fuck, I'm out of spells. Okay. I have a ton of stuff to sell. Well, for now, I'm going to wrap it here. We will investigate the docks in the uh, Low Lantern next time, and then... 
that last section of the city before turning back towards um, the main quest. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to rob every house, and then I'll turn back to the main quest. So, for now, this has been the RPG Crawler. If you like what you've seen, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more playthroughs of this and other games. Until next time, take care and goodbye.